What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here, my name is Matt, and on this channel I talk about all things social media, so if that kind of thing interests you, or you find any value in this video, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications, that way you guys never miss another video. In this video, I'm gonna be diving into my own Instagram analytics, we're gonna be breaking down some numbers for you guys, because I know a lot of people are confused by the analytics on Instagram. Trust me, this is gonna be a good one. Okay, so before we dive into the analytics, I do wanna let you know that this will not work if you don't have a business Instagram set up. So it's super easy to set one up. You literally just go under the settings and you set your Instagram to a business profile. When you do that, you'll be able to choose what you want in your bio. Right here, I have video creator. I know a lot of people have just for fun. Some people do art. There's a whole bunch of stuff and things that you can choose from. But whenever you see something like that on Instagram, that means that person has a business Instagram set up. So if you guys don't have a business Instagram already, this will not really help you, but you can still get some insight if you're planning on making your Instagram account or new Instagram account into a business one. Okay, so let's dive right in. We're gonna be on my profile for this and I'm gonna be showing you guys um, my numbers. So we're gonna be pretty transparent here. So first, I'm gonna click on the top right corner with the three bars and this little thing is gonna pop up. So we're gonna see settings at the top, then archive, then we're gonna see insights. And insights is what we're gonna actually be diving into in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on insights. So we're gonna go through each of these in detail and I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what each and every one of these does. Content, activity, and audience. We're gonna start with content. So up here at the top in the overview section, it shows me exactly how many posts and stories combined that I've posted in the past week, right? So if you've posted like 20 stories in one picture, it would show you 21 here. So it's posts and stories combined within the last week. Okay, so then we're gonna scroll down and next you can see we are on posts. So now we're gonna read the writing in gray which says feed posts ordered by number of times they were seen. It's not likes, it's not you know how many times they were shared, it's how many times they were seen. So for example, if I looked at this picture from another account you know, five times, it would show up as five times. It wouldn't just be one account. So literally one person could have viewed this picture you know, 150 times. They're literally showing you how many times these pictures have been viewed by people. So we're gonna go ahead and click see all and keep in mind this is in order of how many times it was seen. So my last post did the best which is over 6,000 and when I scroll down you can see the numbers drop and it's kind of funny to look at because when you scroll down all the videos right I post quite a bit of videos on my channel they're all at the very bottom and I wonder why that is. I, I don't know why because I know video is supposed to convert higher within the next year or two uh, on Instagram and all over social media. So I wonder why those are at the bottom. Anyways, so this shows you in order. You can also play around with it. Then when I click over here on reach, it pops a little menu up and it shows, you know, you can do comments, you can do engagement. I don't know what engagement is. Let's click on that. Engagement must mean likes and comments combined, I guess, something like that. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay, so engagement means likes and comments combined. So that right there is my most engaged photo, which is, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna click back on engagement and you can just see, you know, you can sort by so many different categories. You can see the most likes, you can see profile visits, um, and then impressions, right? Let's click on impressions. Impressions is how many times your picture basically has been seen. So one person could view it five times, that would count as five impressions. So we're gonna click on impressions and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, it shows you in order. Um, once again, this picture is still the top for impressions. So you can get really detailed. You can search one, your last year, two years, six months, three months, 30 days, seven days. And then you can also go to, when you click on all, you can scroll down and see photos, videos, carousal posts, and shopping. I don't, I don't use those. Okay, so scrolling down, we're into stories. So photos and videos ordered by when they were posted. So here is basically whatever you posted last in your story. We don't need to get too deep into this, but we'll click on see all. And up here it says 14 days. You can click 14 days, seven days, or 24 hours. We don't need to scroll down and look at my stories. One thing about these, you guys, is after the story is already through the 24 hour cycle, you can still tap on it and see the views but it won't show you the people. So it'll always show you the views when you scroll down for the last two weeks or one week or whatever you choose, but you can't click on it and actually see the people that viewed it. But it still gives you a good idea of how many views you got and you know how you're doing today compared to a week ago. Then when we click on reach again, you have all these options once again. So you guys can go through that and see for yourself how your stories are doing. Okay, so when I get to the bottom, it says promotions. I'm actually not gonna go into promotions right now. 
Uh, if I have time in this video, I'll get to it at the end. So we're going to activity next. Now the cool thing about this is when you actually tap on the numbers, it's gonna show you the amount of people that you reached on that specific day, right? So you can see that there's different numbers every single day, but that's cool to look at because you know, you might have posted a picture on Wednesday and you're like, oh, that's why I got you know, so many people to see my account. So when I scroll down, it compares how much reach you've gotten compared to your week before. So I've gotten more reach this week than I did the week before. And then impressions, same thing. Impressions right here, that's actually a good number to look at because that's the amount of people, like I said, if they view your page 10 times, that counts as 10 impressions, right? Even if it's only one account. So now I'm gonna scroll down to interactions. Now this is actually a pretty new update that Instagram put in, and I'll click on the little interactions circle there and show you guys what this says. So what are interactions? This set of insights measures the actions people take when they engage with your account. So number one, profile visits. The number of times your profile was viewed, and number two, the website clicks, right? So you have that little link in your bio, the number of taps on the website. So that's combined. So when I tap on this, you guys can see exact numbers of those two things combined. I don't really know how that would help, but you can at least see you know, another stat and obviously website clicks are important. And then when we get to the bottom, profile visits all together and website clicks. It shows me both the positives or the negatives from the week before. It always is comparing week to week. Okay, so let's go up to audience, one of my favorite parts. So no matter how many followers you have, whether it's 12 or 12 million, it's gonna show you the exact number right here of how many followers you have. It's also gonna show you how many you've gained or lost from the week prior, right? It's always comparing the week to week. So now when I scroll down here to growth, this is one of my favorite parts of Instagram analytics. So it shows you the overall amount of people that have either followed you or unfollowed you, right? So let's say for example, you had five followers in the day and you lost one. That would mean overall you had four. So right here, it's telling me that more people followed me yesterday then unfollowed me so that's always a plus plus. and when you drag your finger along the lines you can see the green is the people that followed you the red is the people obviously that unfollowed you and then the blue is the overall on the day so whether you gained or lost so that is pretty cool I think that's a super valuable analytic to have in Instagram so play around with that check that out and I believe it gives you the past week yeah, it gives you one full week. Okay, so now down to top locations. This is cool because we have options of cities and countries. So looking at cities right here, when I tap on this, it shows me that I have 1% in San Diego, New York, as well as Los Angeles. And then it says I have less than 1%. So these are basically the top cities. So now when I click on countries, obviously United States has the most, we're gonna tap on the bar and it shows me the percentage. 35% of my audience is in the United States. And then I have 6% in the UK, 4% in Poland, 4% in India and 3% in Canada. That sounds actually pretty accurate to me. And I'm not really sure where that other percentage of my audience is, but this is the main bulk of my audience and where they come from. Okay, so scrolling down to age range. Now, this is another really great tool because it shows you, you know, the percentage of followers that you have and what specific ages. So we can choose all, we can choose men, or we can choose women. So right now we're set to all and I'm gonna tap on the bars again. Now you guys can get exact percentages. Obviously my biggest age range is 25 to 34. I'm 24 years old right now, so that would make sense. And I have about 25% from 18 to 24, so that makes sense as well. And then obviously you can click on men, you can see similar numbers, click on women, similar numbers, just a little bit off, right? Then I scroll down here and you can see the gender. Now this is cool because it shows you who's following you more, men or women. So obviously right here it says women over 75%, men just under 25%. So we gotta figure out how to get that ratio a little bit more even. So now we scroll to the bottom and we get to followers. Now this might be the most important part of Instagram analytics, and let me tell you why. When you actually take a deep look into the follower section on insights, you can pretty much see when the bulk of your audience and followers are online. That way you know when to post a picture, right? To get the most engagement, likes, comments, shares, etc. Right now, for example, we have Sunday set. We're gonna tap on that. Now, out of my about 7,000 followers, it shows that quite a few people don't go on on Sundays. About 2,000 people are on between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. Then I go to Monday, I can see pretty similar, almost exact, really, really close on almost every day. And now I'm gonna click on days. So each day it's very similar, right? The bulk of my audience is on mainly between 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., eh, more like 6 to 3 p.m. But if I wanna get the most engagement, I would probably post around 8 a.m. That way I catch the 9 a.m. to 12 to 3 p.m. crowd because that's when my audience is on the most. 
So when I click on days, now you can obviously see they're all super similar. So I'm gonna tap on this right here and you guys can see that it's 4,200 every single day that go on Instagram. So this gives me a good idea out of my 7,600 followers, how many people are active, how many people actually go on, how many people use their Instagram account. So these numbers are telling me it doesn't really matter what day I post, it's really all about the hours, right? So when you get some time, take a look at that, have some fun with it. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature to look at as far as the insights go. So that's kind of a quick dive into the analytics on Instagram. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, drop a comment, drop a like, and I will see you guys over there in my hashtag video.